look at these crabs. Hang on a minute, Dave, I've got crabs. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Dave, what are these crabs? I don't know. Well, uh, red crabs? And they play a blanca crabs. They play a blanca red crabs, are they not, yeah. Um, is that normal for them to be that crab? Yeah, yeah, yeah. During COVID, there was loads of them. Well, good morning, everybody. We're all going on a bus. <laughs> oh, how exciting. Um, it's Wednesday the 24th of January. It is already scorching. It's 11 a.m. in the morning. Uh, we're off to Playa Blanca. Uh, give you a look around there. See what we think. It's a long time since I went to Playa Blanca. Uh, Mark's never been. Never been there. So it's all a learning curve. Now we're just waiting for the bus and I'm having to hold you very close again because it is a little bit breezy. Uh, We've absolutely no idea if we're on the right side. We just know we need the 161 from Porta del Carma. And we're outside, what's this shopping centre called? Biosfera. The Biosfera Shopping Centre. So, we might get there today. Or it could be tomorrow at this rate. Yes. <gasps> Stay with us. Oh, hello. Look who it is. It's the <laughs> famous Mr. Dave Travelon World. It's about time you came down to Playa Blanca, isn't it, really? Do Let's you know face what? it. I'm, I'm getting a really good vibe here. I told you. It's, it's so beautiful. Will it be Porta del Carmen, Costa Seguiz, or Playa Blanca? Always Playa Blanca, because I'm going to show you. You're right. I'm going to show you now. We're going to go for a little walk down here, and I'm going to show you one of the main attractions here in Playa Blanca. It is the most amazing thing you will ever see really? in your life. And it's actually been featured on this Friday, Channel 5 with Jane McDonald. And Mr. Travelon's on there. We know oh. a song about that. Should well. we do a sing song? <laughs> 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 well, come on then, come let's on. walk. Let's go. The let's sun go. is out. The temperature it's is, nice. Dave. It's about, oh, I don't know, it's about 21, 22. Yeah, it said that when we were coming through on the chemist. And they're usually wrong, but I think they're right today. <gasps> Look at that. What? Princess Yars. Is that the hotel that you did that? That's um... the five star, yeah. That's the posh, the po probably the poshest hotel. Apart from the Farionis, which is in Porta del Carmen, that's one of the poshest. Oh my God. We tried to find that, didn't we? But we didn't well, come right together. down here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did, that's why we can find it. <laughs> There's oh, a little wow. market on there as well. It's really nice, but it's super posh in there. And super expensive. It's proper expensive. It's like, not for how, the likes, how much, of, likes uh... of me. I think it's, well, I think we paid about two fifty for one night. What? Yeah. What you paid? Didn't get it free. I didn't know. I paid. I oh, paid. God. I always pay. God, oh, do you? I get nothing you free. You must me. be the only you. <laughs> <laughs> Shh. <laughs> this is Lanzarote, not Tenerife. Yes, I. The Tenerifeans know. get everything for free. Oh, I know. But this, I tell you what, if you've never been to Lanzarote, you're missing a treat. I mean, Tenerife is great. But do you, do you think, you've been to Tenerife? Obviously. Oh yeah, I used to live in Tenerife. Did you? Yeah, only for, only for a few seasons when I was a naughty rep. Oh, oh right. were you a holiday rep? I was a naughty rep. I always rep. wanted to do that. Oh, well, we're going to have a chat about oh, it. Oh my God! We are going to sit down. So if, you, if you're, obviously, Gypsy Soul fans, if you want to have a little look at Mr. Travelon's page, Please I'm going to do a full-on, full-on interview with these two today. Yes. And uh, I'm going to put that on. So it's going to be like a podcast. Well, I've no idea what a podcast <laughs> is, but it sounds good to me, you a know. Gy a gypsy cast. A gypsy cast. cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna expose you to the world. Are you? The truth, the real the real side of the gypsy. The thing soul. is though, we quite we expose <laughs> ourselves quite well, regularly, exactly. don't we? Do you? In the nicest possible <laughs> way. But people come up to us and they'll say, Oh, I remember when we were walking along and they said, How's the red wine going, Marge? <laughs> yeah. You know, they know exactly what you're up to. They do, don't they? Some people have followed us for so long that they'll come out with things that we've forgotten about. And people like, where we met on the internet and oh. stuff like that. Yes. There you go. This is Playa Dorada, by the way. I don't know if you can swing it round and have a look. I can. I have to look. stop it first. Right. So this is the main beach in Playa Blanca. It's called Playa Dorada. Um, and it's gorgeous. It's wow. It's really nice. Now then, what, what I want to know, and I expect people like us do, how much are those sun lounges? Well, that's a good question, it, because they're, they're <laughs> I think around... they're quite expensive in Plain. They're around 8 50 I think, oh. for two. It could have gone up to 10 um, I know in Port del Carmen, 10 somebody 50. took 10 50, yeah, 10 50 So yeah. they're around between 8 50 and 10 down here. But if you come down after sort of 5 o'clock, you just jump on them for free, so you can get, it, especially in the summer, because it'll stay warm till about 8 o'clock. Yeah. And then over there you've got the sort of the Marina Rubicon in that way. 
Um, so you can see Marina Rubicon at the end. And then a little bit further back from there, you've got the Papagayo beaches, which are beautiful. We've done those. They yeah. are stunning. Oh, yeah, I did. I saw your video yes. on that. Yes. Oh, see, wow. You have been down here. Wow, wow. Yeah, but we only went that way. And this, so the pla the Rubicon Marina is not where the ships go. No, that's the Playa Blanca Harbour. Ah, I didn't know that. So there's, that's the Rubicon, yeah, which then, everybody goes on about. And then that's where you get all your ferries, which yeah. we will be getting when we go to Fuerteventura on the 22nd of Feb. Well, there you go. Ooh. There you go. Still got another month here yet. We have, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then the last few weeks will go whiz, won't they? They will. Well, yeah, it always goes fast when you're Massively. on holiday. I don't know you know what day it is. We don't. <laughs> we don't know what <laughs> You day don't know what year it is, do you? No. But actually, no, I said to you yesterday, what, what year it's is 24 it? 24 now, isn't it? Look at but this. down here, look, is the Papagayo Centre. So there's loads of bars and restaurants in here. Um, loads for you to see and do. And you've got like Biker's Bar and uh, like a big Irish bar at the front. But then inside you've got like different bars and restaurants and things. And the big question is, can you get a Euro pint in Playa Blanca? No, no I've not, not seen one. I've not seen one, it's and you can't. In Port of Carmen, to be honest. Yeah, and you can't get a two fifty breakfast here either. Well, maybe you can somewhere, but I don't know of anywhere. To be honest, we've not really f I fancied a breakfast. It's been too hot for a breakfast, hasn't it? Really? Or do you disagree with that? Oh, I don't know. I'll eat breakfast whenever. Oh, me. I don't know. We've only had one, haven't we? And that was at Spoons. That was at Spoons, yeah. Oh, that's, but, that's a, a popular place, that old Spoons. It's very popular, yeah. They're busy down here. The harp. Look at that. That's got a nice vibe. It's got sofas. Yeah. That's, that wins it for me. Then we're coming here next time. Yeah, there you go, you see. I like Playa it. Blanca's a little bit different to Porta del Carmen. Dare I say, Playa Blanca is possibly a little bit posher than Porta del Carmen. Do you know, I think I, I'm, I'm getting that. I don't want to say it's full of posh people. No. But when I do when I do my lives in Playa Blanca and when I do my lives in Porta del Carmen, I always get more people in Porta del Carmen running up and saying hello. Just like that. <laughs> and there's that there he is, see, so you can just hear his voice, but he's still here. I'm here, I'm You're, here. Oh, look so at I'm So I'm gonna take you to see the spoon, which is Ooh. just down here. So this okay. is one of land well, one of Playa Blanca's most famous attractions. Oh, I'm gonna blow your mind with this. Are you going to are you gonna uh, narrate? What is the history of the spoon? Oh, well, there you go. Just, <laughs> it's, like, it's like the best attraction. You've been to Timofaya National Park. I saw that yeah, video. Yeah, we've done that. Well, this not sucks off Timofaya National Does it really? Park. Why have I never heard of it? It's on Channel 5 Friday. That's how famous yes, it is. Yes, you must watch Channel 5 on Friday. Jane McDonald, 9 o'clock. We'll have to watch it when we get home because we can't get Channel we 5. We do get Channel 5. Oh, do we? Yes. Oh, well, there we are. <laughs> well, there you go. Can look, we can, that's look. if the IPTV's working. Now, here we are. For those of you who love waves, listen to that. We've got some funky microphones on <laughs> from Dave, which we might have to get for next time. <laughs> that is so lovely. They love waves, don't they, people? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. waves. It's nice to hear the waves crashing along the shore. Well, you live here. Do you appreciate it? Do you know what? And we will have a chat about this when, I, uh, when we do our little pod, Gypsy Cast. It's, uh, it's nice living abroad, but... When you live here, you don't really, you don't really realise, you know. Yeah, and I know exactly what you mean. Real life takes over, you know. You got work, kids, school run, uh, big shop. You know, your kids oh, yeah. must love it. They what don't even realise. They don't even realise what they've got. What they'd like to be in England, do they? Well, Where they don't know, do they? It know? rains. Yeah. I nearly said a naughty but, word. There. But they know no difference, do they? I don't know how long have they been here. Since they were. Oh, born. the eye to a grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> Since they were, they were oh, born they, here. Oh, oh right. there we go. So they know no difference. They know no different then. Well, I think they they'd be nothing. in for a shock if you ever went back to England. Well, yes. A massive shock. They would. They would. Look at this. So there's the harbour where you get the boat. Yes. Yeah. Over. So you're going to get one of them, aren't you? I don't, I don't know. know. The Alfa Romero one. Lena. The Alfa Romero. <laughs> Whatever it is. Can you well, see you've got the Fred Olsen, which is a yellow one. Yeah. And then the white one next to that is the Armas. And then the Alfa Romero one, or the Linnaeus Romero, but a lot. I'm, I like I think the Alfa Romero. I think I'm going to call it Alfa Romero. Because I can't from remember the other, the other name. That one you can't see from here because it's a little is bit smaller. Gone? Oh, he's there, is he? Um, I can't see another one. No, no. you can't see it. It's small. It's, it's only a small off. boat. It's a lot smaller than them two big ones because it doesn't. It's a little passenger one. Yeah, it doesn't it? take yeah. cars. I'm really looking forward to that ferry crossing. I have done it years ago, and I just remember it being a bit rough. It but, can um, be it a bit rough. It will be rough today. Yeah, it looks rough. 
So we did the um, water taxi, Porta del Carmen to um, and that was rough. It went sideways. It was like this, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. I saw the video on that. Oh, my God. And usually they stop and you can go and see the fish in the gas bottom bit. It was so rough, wasn't it? But look how, how the, the waves are crashing here. We did see your uh, ferry video the other day. Yeah, we watched that. Yeah, I did that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, look, come with me, look. Oh, hang on. Follow me. Is this the spoon? No, that's the right, spoon. Right, so let me, let me tell you that. Let me let tell me, you Shall we key. turn it around? Hang on yeah, a moment. Be like, like, back. Can you just make sure that I'm actually videoing? Because you know what I'm like. Yes, you video. are. Yes. So this will be like the Jane McDonald that you'll see on Friday. I'm not now, singing. Many, <laughs> many years ago, when they laid the lovely sort of cobbled street area here, one of the workmen was eating a yogurt and dropped his spoon in are the you cement. <laughs> This is my story. Oh, right. And the spoon was cemented in the concrete. Now, for years, everybody that walks past here looks and searches for the spoon. And when they find it, they scream with absolute joy and they take a little picture of the spoon. But what they tend to do is not do their toenails very nice. So you get horrible, horrible feet. I've got horrible feet. feet. You get I've horrible got feet, feet pictures with a spoon in the cement. But Somebody stole the spoon. Oh. Was it you? Year. No, it wasn't. It was, you put it no, in your garden, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but somebody stole the spoon and there was outrage. And it was, I, I did a news report on it and it went a little bit viral. Hence why Jane McDonald uh, contacted me and said, we're coming to play a blanket. Can we do something on the spoon? And uh, there you go. What That's how it is. So I'm going to show you where, I'm going to show you where it is. Look, it's down here. You where? might need to switch the camera around. Hang on. Let's. The camera around. Are you ready? Keep your eyes peeled. Do you know what? I've found it so many times and I always get. Right, we're on. So you see, at least he hasn't got his uh, toes out, but I'm he's found it. Look, he's found it. It's just here. Look. There you go. Look, see. Well, there we so are. So there you go. I can barely see it. The spoon. <laughs> where is it? <laughs> what? Oh, am I on it? Spoon in concrete. <laughs> Yeah, you put your toe. Dave, do you want to put your no, toes No, my toe's there? horrible. I'm not putting my toes there. I hate there. toe pictures. <laughs> my toes So that's to be a nice. spoon in concrete. And do you know what? It's actually got its own, it's, a, it's got its own Google map location. No yeah, way. If you Google the spoon, play a blanket, it's got its own Google map location. Yeah, right, okay. So there we are. There Jane McDonald has seen the spoon. Yes. There you go, as I said. Wow. That's the most famous thing I can show you in Playa Blanca. But no, there is loads more, obviously, to see. Do you but, know what? Uh, if you didn't know that was there, you wouldn't see it. Well, of course you It's a good wouldn't. game for the kids. You can say, go and find the bloody spoon. You're and they like, they go running yeah. around. So it is something cool for the holiday. It's not. Uh, it's obviously not the best attraction in Lanzarote. I'm just having a laugh. No, and if you do want the best attractions, you head over to... Travel on dot world. Get your excursions booked and use the code. I would say Gypsy Souls. I'm going to create. Are one. you? No, you. <laughs> TKK you, and TTK. TTK. Use the code TTK. What and you'll does get that a mean? TikTok. Oh uh, right. I'll just, I'll, it's just a you. code. I was there thinking. You well, there we are. Now, before I forget, you come from Litchfield. No, from Sutton. Well, no, I don't field. actually. I come from Birmingham, but my mum lives in Sutton Goldfield. So, field, this is a shout out to the subscribers that are staying below us in Los Delphines, oh. Sarah and Paul, who go. love. Do they? Dave. Yes. yes. Hello, Sarah and Paul. There you go. I hope these two See? are not keeping you, know, you up all night when, drinking when you booze book the and making a new. Below the gypsy song. Yeah, there you go. You I hope you're not wearing your high heels and banging on the floors and stuff like that and waking well, them up. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mark. Only <laughs> <laughs> on a weekend. Yeah. Oh, Brilliant. Dear. So I'm going to take you down here. We're going to have a. I'm, well, I'm going to have a little sit down with you. And yes. I'm going to, we're going to do the gypsy cast. A gypsy cast. Yes. I like you it. did try and tell me what that was. Is, is it a just a podcast? Yeah, I don't know. It's just I'm where people sit down and talk crap. I told you we're rubbish. Yeah, you oh, well, I'm good at that. Yeah. You're good at that, yeah. yeah. You're an expert. Anyway, we're going to sign off now. Get there because my mouth is a bit dry. <laughs> you don't drink, do you? I don't drink. No, I'll have a posh water though. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have a posh water. Yeah. I'll have a posh water. Anyway, we'll catch you in a second because we're going to do lots more vlogs while we're here. Yes. And um, yeah, see you in a bit. <laughs> Well, we're back. We've just had a wonderful gypsy cast with Dave from Travel on World. So if you want to go and have watch that, um, pop on over to Dave's channel. And it'll be on there. And I do talk a hell of a lot. You do talk a lot. But then so does Dave. <laughs> so between the two of us, you didn't get a look in. I didn't. <laughs> what a fantastic bloke he is. We absolutely love spending time with him. Uh, and we spent a lot of time with him. So 
we haven't got as long as we thought we'd have so we're just going to do maybe a little long vlog now our sound quality might not be as good as it was in the first bit of this vlog because the wind is burning and we've got no mics we borrowed some of dave's mics and it might be time to invest in some ones with fluffy bits on because ours do not have fluffy bits on and they crackle and they were dgi's weren't they yeah so it will be selling the gimbal and buying some of those i think uh when we get back anyway we are still in player blanket now we've walked right to the end and i call this the old part up by where the ferries go we will be here on the 22nd of feb as we head over to third ventura uh we'll then be coming back here uh until the mid middle of march um so apologies if you hear wind <laughs> It's not me. Sure. <laughs> yes. Um, we'll do our very best to show you. And I tell you what, we're getting some good vibes here, aren't we? We are. We really, really like it. But we haven't uh, discovered it yet. So we're going to walk from one end to the other and we're going to find somewhere to eat as well. So this could be quite a long vlog, um, which is I know what you want. So let's see how much we can film without it going <laughs> ready. Mark's had two pints. Yeah. Thank you Dave. And uh, oh look at that one over there. Now it's very poshy. I do like it. But let's see what you think. Or do you already know? So this is the far end. And you've got Furtaventura over there. And this is how you get to Furtaventura from this brand new terminal building. So Dave is going to be sorting out our tickets uh, via his excursion company for us, uh, which is very helpful. And we're going to walk along here and see what we can show you. So you've got Popeyes up here, you've got Curry House, you've got the Irish Anvil and Utopia. So you've got, and these were here when I was here back in 2009. Um, this has all changed. This has become very, very modern now. And then you've got this new marina here sal marina is that what it's called uh so we're going that's to have a look at the one, boat yeah. we're going to go on the alpha ramira <laughs> it's not called that alpha linea or something it's the fast boat so we will be going on that so let's go and have a look there we are we're down at the marina oh and there's the lineos romera which is what we will be going on Look at that. Now this is a passenger cruise only. And I think it's, did it say about 35 euros each? Yeah. Return, I'm hoping. So there we go. It's about 3.30 p.m. and it is still 20 degrees. I'm liking this, Mark, are you? So let's take you for a little walk around here. So we're walking back up to where we were sitting with Dave. It's so pretty here. There's so much to choose from in terms of eating and bars. I think you'd be spoiled for choice, wouldn't you, really? And that's the main concern, isn't it? This is nothing to do with a night. All your bizarre shops. Get all your knickknacks. Just look at that view. Got a swimming platform there where you can jump off into the sea. I mean, just look at this. find some food oh there's the shops at the back there yeah not gonna have time to do those today you never know we may well do those uh, next time we come so the sun's just popped in for a minute this is so beautiful I, I cannot tell you you probably already know if you have been here I don't remember any of this a little beach here along the front. What a lovely place to come and eat for dinner of a night 
by any time, really. Are we going to convert to put a play of land um, into Del Carmen, do you think? I don't know. Oh, it's very close. It is. So we've got Porta Marina Rini Ross. Rinos. That looks nice, but it looks a bit fishy to me. It looks like a fish restaurant. Yeah. Is it? I don't know. It was Timberfair Grill Bar or something. Yeah, Timberfair de Vulcan. So it means Volcano Timberfair, I presume. And look at this. Look at that view. Absolutely stunning. So we're going to have some tea here now uh, and then we're going to walk on round. You're having ribs. I'm having pork ribs. And I'm yum, having yum. Chicken and pepper sauce. We'll show you what that's like. Haven't done many food food. Have we so far? You yeah, haven't, no. But we will start doing some more. This is a great day, isn't it? It is, yeah. Really enjoying this in Blair Blanca. Gosh, look at this. But well, it's only half a litre. What do you mean it's half a litre? Is that more than normal? A lot of them do serve in 47 litre glasses, so yes. For God's sake, if I'd known that. <laughs> and there we are, pouring old lime and water. For... I've never seen anything like that, is it? Oh my god, it's frozen. What is it, an owl? A parrot? Parrot. Look at that. Well, about for 10 euros, no, five, is it? I got a whole chicken in my mouth and I've got the chicken. Wow, that looks amazing. But will it taste as good as it looks? Well, we are stuffed. I had lots of ribs. <laughs> And an extra, extra, extra large beer. Which was seven euros, but it was double. It was double, double pint. But you're not having any more. Yeah, I never six more tonight. <laughs> yes. So we've been in the Vulcan de Timofea. It was very good. The whole bill came to 44 euros. So I had a big pudding and Mark had a barracuda. Uh, so that was really good. I'm going to switch you around now. We are going to walk up to the Rubicon. We've worked out our bus times. It's now just gone five, well, ten past actually, um, and it's still lovely and what a pleasant evening because if you think now, it'll be dark in the UK. In the UK, be all in there, all wrapped up, watching pointers. Come, Come on over. But anyway, um, we're going to walk up there, see what we can find. I oh. vaguely remember this. Um, anyway, we're going to have a look. And then, at the end of the vlog, we'll give you our verdict. We will. Mm. So we've just eaten here and it's very, very nice. Can't recommend any others because we've never eaten there. And if you look up above uh, here, that is where we did the vlog for Dave's channel, the Galileria Bar. Is that what it says, Mark? Galileria, oh, yeah. I haven't got my glasses on. So we've got one of these. Now these fund grubs, according to Sarah, are very good and they they make you spend lots of money don't they sarah so in your shops yeah so she spent a lot of money in there don't know how she's going to get it in her hand luggage but they are the shops to go to if you want perfume etc apparently they're the best value so we're looking across now i would say it's sunset time but it is a little bit cloudy it's now, a bit cloudy now yeah. so not going to be able to get that for you If you get your bearings, if you've not been to Claire Blanca, the lighthouse end is over there, and you've got the harbour, and we're walking now towards the other end to the Rubicon. And I don't remember this, but I must have walked past it because I have stayed at this other end. Um, we're going to also be walking past the um, 
posh, posh, posh hotel. Uh, that's where Dave spent New Year's Eve and apparently it's about £250 a night. So way, way, way out of our budget. But hey, we can all dream, can't we? We can, yeah. We might win the lottery. That's if we do it. Well, we don't do it, so that's not going to happen, is it? So, let's have a wander up here. It's all very, very nice. You could walk for miles, couldn't you? If you remember, if you watch the Papagea videos, the Papagea beaches are all over there. So, you could, you could probably get a bus to somewhere over there and then you have to walk uh, from there. About three to, miles, isn't it? It's a long way, but those beaches, if you watch that vlog, are absolutely worth it. And again, if you are joining us for the first time, what are they got to do? Subscribe. And? Thumbs up. Because? It helps the channel. And it's? Free. Free. It's just, you could just walk for miles here. Yeah. I mean, that way to the lighthouse is like miles. Mark and Trish, you would love it here. <laughs> <laughs> So would Rita and Pete, they would enjoy it. Look at that in there, what's that? A load, a load, a load of rocks. No, it, there's a load of rocks there, but it's going off the swimming area. Oh, right. And I the water sports in there. Look at that. You can see a little bit of the sunset over there. At least the wind's dropped now, so you can hear me better. So we're heading over there. This is where we came out, I think, isn't it? I can't With remember. Dave earlier. We've got to find our way back to the bus uh, depot at some point. Got some lovely apartments along here. Imagine staying in that and then looking across to that view. It is a lot quieter than Porta del Carmen. It is. But there's plenty of restaurants and there's plenty of choice, isn't there? There is. And you can get a massive, massive beer. I know, Not extra, just a massive extra beer. large. Really, really lovely. Oh, look at them. They've got four poster beds to lay on. Anybody know the name of that? Because it looks very, very nice. Imagine it's a very nice price too. So you find an apartment? Yeah. yeah imagine. Okay, so we're getting closer to the Rubicon. Here we are. How about that for a gym? A gym with a view. So this looks like an interesting place. Adults only. Sugar Reef. Look at that. That must be like a private beach club then unless it's part of uh, the Dreams Beach Resort. Oh yeah, it is, look. Mm. Oh my gosh, now that, Marcus, would do very, very nicely. Imagine laying there all day, as you look out to see. Oh, here we are, there's a sunset going on over there. Look at that. So we're coming down to the Casa Carlos restaurant grill. Over, oh, look at that, overlooking there. Yeah, uh, to give you a little Ryan, swing round. Uh, got the two windmills, and that is where they're developing a new shopping centre, and it's coming on very, very well. And there's a hotel behind. It's all very, very clean. Do you know what amazes me most about this? It's all so clean, isn't it? It is, yeah don't see any rubbish or anything so we're gonna have a little wander around here and see what we can find so picture this 20 degrees a slight breeze it is 25 to 6 on January the 24th there is a lovely smell and a waft of steak <laughs> for all those meat lovers Watch the balls, Marcus. Don't Watch you go to... Oh, oh yeah. I'm still <laughs> in the road. You don't want to trip over them, do you, when you've had a few? That would hurt. 
So here's the Rubicon Marina. Some of you have been asking if we're going to be filming it. Well, here we are, as requested. And we've never been here before. So the thing is, whichever end of uh, Claire Blank you stay at, it is quite a walk into the, the main bits. But that's all part of the fun, isn't it, really? Having a nice walk after you've had a nice big meal like we've just had. And a few pints. Yes, you have to get that one in, don't you, Mark? Yeah, ab absolutely. Oh, there's a bar at the lighthouse, is that? Oh, there's one here. Look at this. God, does it make you want to book a holiday? If I was watching this, I'd want to book a holiday. Oh, that smell of food is just amazing yes i know but it smells amazing doesn't it shall we have a little wander around here do you know what i don't think we'll be able to walk tomorrow all this walk and it doesn't help doing all these miles in flip-flops does it i'm all right i'm in trainers yes but i like my flip-flops oh fred olsen's coming in and can you see how much quieter it is than um porta del carmen affectionately known as PDC and this is known as PB so if you like water sports which Mark absolutely loves don't you Mark oh absolutely <laughs> there's plenty here Rubicon water sports just over there and if you like boats you've got this just over here so we're now up by the lighthouse bar of the one bar. Oh, not the lighthouse bar no. then. <coughs> there we are, a lovely still evening. So just going to swing you around. There we are, look at that. Well, there you have it. A little snapshot of Playa Blanca. But what do you think? What do we think? Mm, it's good. We'll we be back. love it. Yes. And uh, I think we might book a holiday here because it's really nice. And it's always good to see other places, experience different things. This is much quieter, but that's good. That's a good thing. Plenty of bars, plenty of restaurants. You can fill your boots as much as you like. You won't go short. You certainly won't starve here. Um, Anyway, thanks all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. We've had a fabulous afternoon with Dave. Thanks, Dave, ever so much for all your help in sorting us out with our excursions, our Jeep safari, our ferry across to Fuerteventura. To Sandra Spires and her husband, who we missed last week. I'm sorry we get so many requests to meet up. We literally wouldn't have enough time in the day to do it all. Um, so, But thank you anyway for wanting to meet us. I don't know why you want to, but you do. So... <laughs> Sandra and her husband, um, who went home last week, we hope you had a lovely time. We can see why you like Playa Blanca. And we will certainly be back. We'll be back. So join us next time. Don't know where, don't know when, but we will. See you again. See you soon. On a sunny day. Bye. Bye.